Assalamu alaikum and a very warm welcome to Living the Life with Sabri Rati. And uh, Sadia Chowdhury, thank you very much for joining us this evening. Our second guest in the green room is a very rare find. His energy and passion for teaching is extremely evident in his style and approach. That's right, his students have dubbed him the heart doctor, as he often requests them to have their hearts to metaphorically be conducted into bloodless open heart surgery. Wow, isn't that bloodless incredible? Bloodless open heart surgery, incredible. I wonder, I wonder what, what that that's is. all about. Yeah. <laughs> It's Sheikh Riyadh al Zazi, everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you, Sheikh? I'm doing great, alhamdulillah. I'm very happy and honored to be here again. Fantastic. Very happy that you're here with us. I hope you can expand on that uh, heart surgery thing. I We're will, all Shari. intrigued about that. We will. Yeah. Bloodless open heart surgery. Wow. Now, our second <coughs> guest of the evening flew into the country just today. And we're so super pleased he's taken time out to be with us tonight. Yes, his students know him as the heart doctor. We know him, of course, as Sheikh Riyad Uzazi. Yes. Hey, Sheikh, a letter to his mom. Yep, yeah, Sheikh. Mom, I cleaned my room today, $10. I took the garbage out, $5. I shoveled the snow, $15. I did the dishes, $20. I cleaned my room. So much, so and then at the end, total, total, whatever the total was, the mother took the same piece of paper, flipped it aside, and then she wrote, I carried you in my womb for nine months, bearing all the pain, free of charge. When I gave birth to you, I felt so much pain. Terrible pain. I was screaming, giving birth to you. Free of charge. When you were a baby, I used to feed you first before feeding anybody else, even before feeding myself. Free of charge. When you used to get sick, I used to nurse you, stay the whole night with you. Cry before Allah, making duha for Allah to give you shifa. Free of charge. And at the end, she says, total love. Your mother. Wow. Indeed, wow. your mother. How important is your mother? Amazing. Beautiful description there. Welcome to the show, Sheikh Riyadh Uzazi. Jazakumullah Sheikh. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Great to see you here. Uh, my pleasure. A very moving clip we just saw there. Every time we, you know, when you talk about the mother, yeah, it's something endless. Like when you travel, even when you go for Hajj, you ask your friends, you ask your, you know, please make the half for me. You ask anybody, that, you know, you're going for Hajj, please make the half for me. Yeah. But if your mother is traveling, you don't have to ask her to make the half for you. It is the only person in the world that you, in fact, when she makes her salah, all her dua is for you. When she travels for Hajj, she travels to make dua for you. So the mother, that's why the Prophet Muhammad used mm -hmm. to so, talk so much about the right mm -hmm. of the mother, which supersedes that of the father. Mm. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Uh, that was an amazing talk that you gave. Uh, now, Sheikh, uh, as we mentioned in the introduction uh, earlier on, you flew into the country just today. Just now, in fact, just, just now, about from <laughs> an hour ago or so. Yeah, I'm still fresh off the plane. And you don't look long trip. <laughs> like you've just been on <laughs> exactly. a long trip. Uh, it was just like, yeah, three hours, so it was not bad, actually. Oh yeah. Now, you've got uh, so much planned for your trip here this time yes, to the Kingdom. Very busy. A lot's going on for you. How's the uh, development coaching side of things going? Alhamdulillah, I've uh, been doing, an, uh, in fact, London, the UK has been a very, very good market for me. Uh, really? Better than the Canadian <laughs> market, yes. So a lot of my students have actually asking me to come and, and, and settle here. Um, so alhamdulillah, I'm, I'm, I did launch quite a few personal development seminars. The latest one was, uh, was called Awaken the Genius. Right. And there's another one called Train the Genius. Mm -hmm. It's all about you know, uh, personal development, which involves life management, you know, public speaking, how to deal with all types of different issues that you may face out there. So it's a, it's an amazing uh, seminar, you know, which uh, in fact I've done here a couple of times, yeah. and I'm going to take it into a tour. Chef, so that concerns me a little bit that you said you've got such a big market here. Yeah. Does that mean that in England and in London in particular, we're in need of a lot of personal <laughs> development? 
it's it, no, it, it's not that. It's just I most of the coaches that I know, in fact, yeah. they they like to work here because it's just it's not that people here are in need of person. Everywhere you go, people yeah. are in need. There are some people who come forth, yeah. you know, looking for the, the to learn the skills and to develop the skills, and there are others who. Um, they they're not too interested in fact so uh, it just it's a very very green very interesting market here mm -hmm. that a lot of people show interest yeah uh, and it's not like you are in need of person well all in need of person <laughs> of course yeah. well of course some of your work at the moment uh, will involve uh, a seminar that you're working on is to do with the marital seminar yeah, right I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Canadian marriage officer Right. Um, um, I, when I was a at marriage the, officer. Yeah, wow. yeah the, 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 uh, the, the guy at the airport, you know, the, uh, the, when I was checking in, he says, what are you here for? He says, I'm a marriage officer. I have a marriage. Uh, he says, well, what's a marriage officer? You're like a counselor? I said, yes, okay, counselor. Um, I, um, so uh, what I do is I also offer seminars on, on, on marriage um, uh, for both those who are married and those who are not married. Mm. In fact, I'm, I have uh, an event uh, this coming Saturday in Sheffield yeah. and another event in, um, in Birmingham. Uh, it's a long day event uh, split into two segments, one for those who are not married, how to find the right spouse, yeah. and for those who are married, how to improve their relationship with their spouses. Yeah. Um, looking into the life of the Prophet Muhammad as the role model, really, and how he treated the wives and whatnot. So there's so much to learn, in fact. You know, in this in this uh, of field course, of and I think just before people get married, a lot of youngsters don't understand that there's a lot to learn about what to expect and what not to expect as well. Yeah, yeah. You know marriage. what's what's really interesting, and maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I've noticed that the 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 rate of divorce in the UK mm -hmm. it's really really high compared to other countries, especially amongst the Muslims. Uh, and then I come here, a lot of people call me on the phone or send me text messages on my. Facebook page, yeah. you know, I will pay you your flight, you pay, and it just come and you know and counsel us, and it's really scary sometimes, yeah. and 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 it's just about the foundation. You need to really, like you said, you know, why you want to get married first of all? Is it just mm. because you've been pushed, or is it yeah. something new that you want to try, or is it a family business like yeah. a, a parenting? You know, there are a lot of cultural, yeah. you know, things out there. As you know, there's a lot involved when it comes to marriage. Yeah. Well, Sheikh, it's great to see that you're doing so well, and uh, we'll be learning more about some of your projects uh, in a moment. Welcome back. What a great initiative there in Lebanon. Yeah, I'm so good to see that new technology and new yes. sort of sophisticated greenhouses are helping farmers. Yeah. Well, what during the break, think? we are talking to our guests. And uh, Nick, you mentioned in Malaysia, at yes. the moment, the uh, agricultural industry is booming, you were saying. Uh, yes. Uh, actually, um, since, um, since our independence in 1957, uh, agriculture has been a major part, a major force of driving uh, major force of the economy in mm. Malaysia because yeah. we still have up to date up to now uh, we have still many farmers and um, in Malaysia and yeah. we are one of the uh, large rice producer in Southeast Asia and we yeah. also a major producer of the palm oil yeah, and, yeah. Wow. And Sheikh, you said you also saw an interest in Malaysia. I've been to the country like four times from Canada. It's like 19 hours, yeah. you know, <laughs> flying all the way from Canada to Malaysia. By the time you get there, I mean, you're all spaced out. But here's the thing. The first thing you notice is the amount of greenery, subhanAllah. Everywhere you go, it's green. Palm trees, even downtown, central downtown, like in Kuala Lumpur. Mm -hmm. Palm trees everywhere. It's amazing. Like, and then you hear the. It's. It, the, you're talking about greenhouses. Yeah. I think the entire Malaysia is all green. Much one, one big greenhouse. greenhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, that's stuff. great. But it is time now for our final break of the night. Yes, there's still more to come on tonight's Living the Life. Come. Uh, now coming back uh, to our studio, I'm very happy to say uh, we are joined by our wonderful martial arts silats team. Look at them. Hey guys. <laughs> Salam alaikum. How are you? You can turn around and give a quick wave to our camera. There you go. Looking very smart indeed. Now, um, Putra, please explain to us what kind of demonstration are they about to show us? Um, they're going to show a few basic movements right. and uh, uh, some of the intermediate movement. And then we're going to show also some of uh, uh, how do we counter uh, attacks using weapons. And um, we are going to show you some demonstration also uh, using our uh, main weapons. Right. We call it parang lading. Yes. Okay. And this is the dance 
form of the Salat Chetka, is that right? Um, you, there were three forms we heard about in the VT and this is one of one of the types. Um, for Salat Chetka, we don't actually have dance. Oh. Uh, so this is uh, uh, what we do to uh, defend ourselves. Right, okay. Right. Yeah. So we have here uh, Faroz, I believe. Faroz and Nazif. Faroz and Nazif, who are going to demonstrate to us. Guys, in your own time. How many more to go, Putra? One left. One left. One left. Yes. Okay. This is the this is the finale. Let's go for it. And there we go. That's the end, right? Great stuff. Thank you, guys. Well done, guys. Thank you, Nazif and Fairuz. Thank you so much. Great job. That was very entertaining. Yeah, very entertaining. Now, Sheikh, you were mentioning earlier that you're quite a martial arts fan yourself. Oh, I didn't know. I, I was just joking. Not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Alhamdulillah, I've been doing martial arts for quite a long time yes. now. Uh, I started off with, with just, you know, like karate, the basics. And then I, I used to get hit in my face. <laughs> so I, then I went into boxing and right. then kickboxing, then Thai boxing. And then recent, you know, and then the, in the past uh, about 10 years or so, I moved into the MMA style, you know, I used to work out with those guys who used to go into cage fighting. Right. And I would just work out with them. They asked me to go and fight. Fantastic. But, um, well, next yeah. we have Sheikh Riyad <laughs> fighting. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm not going to do that to uh, you. <laughs> now, um, guys, if uh, people want some more information about the work that you do, because it, it really is extensive uh, amount of projects you're involved in Putra, how can people get involved? Uh, they can uh, refer to our website, it's yep. www.pusakahanafi.co.uk right. or we have also our blog, uh, ukcilatcekahanafi.blogspot.com uh, mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. Grandmaster, it's been uh, a pleasure having you with us. When will the Grandmaster be visiting uh, the UK again? Inshallah, inshallah. Maybe uh, uh, if we have more events, uh, he yeah. will be glad to come here Fantastic. anytime soon. But uh, he, he'll in be here. In the next here few months, hopefully. Maybe in the next few yeah. months, yes. So, put the, let's Thanks. make sure next time Grandmaster is in town, yes. let's bring the Grandmaster on living the life again. Yeah. And we can have Inshallah. another demonstration. <laughs> yeah, that's what Why we're not? Inshallah. And maybe get Sheikh involved. Next time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Sheikh, just finally, um, we mentioned earlier a lot of your seminars are coming up. How can people get involved? A um, couple of ways. Uh, my website www.rocktraining r o c because right. I rock. You do rock. <laughs> <laughs> you do rock. <laughs> Rocktraining.com or my Facebook page. You know Sheikh Riyad Razi on Facebook, and I'm all over. You know, so you can contact me to fit my Facebook or or send me emails to uh, my website. Inshallah. Yeah. Great. I'm okay. sure those workshops are going to be sold out, packed in the next few days. Because yeah. I'm doing a, a, a matrimonial as well. It's yeah. a marriage followed by a matrimonial as well. Inshallah. Great. Okay. All the best with that, Sheikh. Exactly. Thank you once again.
And unfortunately, that brings us to the end of tonight's Living the Life. A big thank you to our guest, the Grand Master, Sheikh Dr. Med Radzi, Putra Zahid, Nick Zulhazmi, and of course, our wonderful Salat experts, Nazif and Fairuz. Yes, uh, what a great team they were. And also, of course, a thank you to Sheikh Riyad Uzazi. Uh, Living the Life is back at the same time next Monday. Uh, have a wonderful Jummah and weekend. Assalamu alaikum. We